Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your July 2023 reading. I am Charlene Lizette. Okay, I'm not going to take any of these because I hadn't asked, but let's just call it out. You came out here as the Page of Wands and the Three of Swords, so let's see what's going on for you, Saggy, okay? In the monthly readings, we pull three cards for career and finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. Uh, my name is Charlene Lizette. If you've never been here before, hey, hi, how's it going? What's up, girlfriend or guy friend or they friend? All right, I hope you please subscribe and you become a part of our collective. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on. Uh, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, and Eating My Hair, and Knight of Cups. The amulet you also got from my jewelry line, Starcy Jewels, is Venus, okay? And Venus is all about love, passion, vitality, sensuality, sexuality, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, let's get these three cards for the general overall reading. There you are again, okay? So I like that you're showing up in your reading. Abe, you are showing up in the Page of Wands energy, so I do feel like a little bit immature, maybe not immature, but like a novice. There's a there's a no, a, a novelty a novelty to something yeah like a newness to something, okay. Then we've got the King of Cups, Temperance. There you are again, and the Tower. Okay, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hi Raven, are you coming to join us? And my Black Cat may be joining us for a reading. She hasn't been up here in a while. You gonna come? Leo energy for your uh, astrology card and the Sun, and it is Leo season for the majority of July. So there may be some messages there for you we can dive into. Change. I understand that nothing can evolve or grow without movement. And then let's get this last card here and we'll dive in. For your career and your finances, because I can start right now, what I'm really seeing is a shift in perspective. A shift in the way that you're viewing your money. A shift in the way you're viewing your business. A shift in the way that you're going to be processing the obstacles, the challenges, the difficulties, the hardships that you may have been going through when it comes to your career and your finances, okay? You've got the Eight of Wands showing up here, or Eight of Swords showing up here. And, you know, I always say when it, the Eight of Swords shows up, this is like your mind, your mind over matter, okay? Your brain, Sagittarius. Your brain is like blah, 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 and then you can't see straight, Sagittarius, Okay, and in the month of July for you, what you're going to be doing is working through those limitations, those boundaries, those blockages. All right, with the Seven of Wands here, again, there's that work. Like you're literally going to be putting in the work to understand what's keeping you limited, what's keeping you stuck, what's keeping you um, maybe in financial hardship or diff difficulty. And above all of that, Sagittarius, what you're also going to be doing with this Knight of Cups is going after what brings you joy, what brings you happiness in your finances and in your career. So with this change card here, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You're making big, like I'm talking astronomical moves uh, in your life, particularly your finances. But I just think in general, and the reason why I'm saying in general is because you got the fool. Okay, and then with the Page of Wands, the Emperor, it's like you're looking at your career, your finances, your empire on a whole, like in a whole new perspective, a whole new lens. Like you're willing to have a shift in mindset when it comes to your career and your finances and the way that you approach your career and your finances. Your stability, your security, all these things that can keep you safe and comfortable, okay? I do see here with the I'm sorry card defenseless, defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting, that you may have someone coming into your life to apologize. Or you may be doing some sort of apology. I do feel, though, for the most of you, it's somebody coming in to apologize for maybe some of the things that they may have said or done. And with the Leo card here, it could be a fellow Leo um, that's uh, coming in to say sorry or um, somebody who just may have a really big ego. For some of you, you may be saying sorry to an old coworker or a boss because you're leaving that job behind, that place to minute behind, because you're going after your ten of pentacles, babe. You're going after that Ten of Pentacles, and you're not fussing, you're not worrying about how other people may perceive you. You're focused on your goal, and that's it. 
Now I'm going to dive into your love reading. So I do want to let you know the Venus um, is from my jewelry line, Starseed Jewels. It's got Morganite Barrel and Rose Quartz. So if you have any of these pieces at home, put them in your pocket, meditate with them, or you can pick up Venus in the description box below. Okay, I hand make all the pieces. We design them all here, literally right here. Reconciliation, children, give your relationship a chance. And then you got the King of Cups, Temperance, and the Tower. The Five of Pentacles here with Reconciliation. Yeah, see, I think somebody from your past has come back. Strength, Leo, could be Leo, could be somebody you had children with, could be somebody who has children, could be somebody who acts like a fucking child, okay, for some of you, and the fool, give your relationship a chance. You might be giving this person a second opportunity. With the King of Cups and Temperance, I do see you being very balanced and very methodical. Like the way that you're approaching this person returning back into your life, you're going to be in this place where you're going to be like, look. Are we going to be doing the same thing again? Because if we are, I'm not here for it. Like, I'm done. If we're not, then cool. Like, we can try again. But I do feel like you're going to have hard boundaries. You're going to be very, very clear, very specific that you're not going to be doing these tower moments anymore. For some of you, you may just straight up be like, no. <laughs> We're done, okay? I think for a lot of you, this person may have been very toxic or very difficult to deal with or very egotistical Sagittarius. And so the fact that they're coming back, you're in this mindset of like, this makes no sense. Like, what are they, what are they trying to do here? Like, why are they coming back? What do they want from me? This doesn't really make a lot of sense for me. And if that's the case, I want you to watch the video I'm going to plop here right at the end of this video because they may be an energy vampire and they may be trying to come in. Sometimes the emperor, especially if I'm seeing it like blended with the, with the Leo card um, and the tower, it just reminds me of somebody who like just needs to feel their own cup, their feed their ego, and that's all they care about is making sure that they're fulfilled, they're happy, and they don't care about anybody else. And babe, you're focusing on finding true love here with Venus. You're focusing on finding that love that is reciprocated, that is kind, that is gentle, that is loving. And so you're not going to be taking back the trash. Especially with that Five of Pentacles re reconciliation, some of you are just going to be like, we're done, you know? So go watch this video right here to confirm whether or not they are an energy vampire and whether or not you should waste your time on them or give them your time and energy. And if you want to book a session or pick up your amulet, take a look at the description box below. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.